Myth number one, content has to be funny to be internet famous. That's just not true. Too many ads try too hard to be funny and fail. Humour is the trigger that's most likely to fail because it's the most over, overused of all the emotional triggers. So what we suggest when working with brands is that if they think about triggers other than humour. Think about creating uplifting content, content that might make people joyful, happy, inspired, and think beyond the funny ads. Myth number two, the shorter, the better. There's lots of talk about us being an ADD generation where we can't concentrate on anything for more than two or three seconds. Now it's true that there's lots of new short form video platforms, InstaVideo, Vine are great examples. Um, but that said, if you've got great content, people will watch it. And there is lots of appetite for longer form video content if the content is genuinely engaging. Um, so if you think about it, when you look at the most shared ads of all time, across those top shared ads, the average time is two and a half minutes. So that's two and a half minutes that people are choosing to spend watching a video and then often going on to share it. Myth number three, good content will rise to the surface. This is the myth we call the little mermaid of video myths. The idea that if you have awesome content, it will somehow rise to the surface, it will be found, people will want to watch it and share it. It doesn't work like that now. There's so much content in our social feeds. There's 300 hours of content uploaded to YouTube every minute uh, that we're just not gonna necessarily find the content that's great. And this is why it's more important than ever before for brands to have paid media strategies in place and smart distribution strategies so that when they've got their great content, they match that with a fantastic distribution strategy as well. Myth number four, big views equals big success. Views aren't the be all and end all. Uh, and gradually over time, we've seen brands come to recognize this and look beyond the view when they're looking for success in running video campaigns. Really, a view is just a measure of media spend. Uh, and if you're looking for the success of a campaign, think really carefully, what are the KPIs? So shares are a really strong KPI for a video campaign because a share tells you that somebody has really engaged with the content and has become an advocate for that content with their peer group. Myth number five. All you need is cats. We all know the internet is made of cats, but cats in themselves don't generate video shares. There's been a fantastic study by Karen Nelson Field at the Arenberg Bess Institute uh, looking at the drivers of virality. Uh, and what she found was that creative devices don't determine shareability. Uh, so it's not about whether you have cats or celebrities or babies in your video. What determines sharing is the extent to which those devices connect with the audience and create a strong emotional connection. Myth number six, viral success is impossible to predict. There's a long held myth in the ad industry which says virality is unpredictable. It's like a bolt of lightning, you never know when it's going to strike. But I would like to dispel that myth. We have the big data available to us now, so we can run regression analysis across massive data sets. We have the academic research there that can help us identify robustly what those sharing metrics and variables are. So I would say we absolutely can predict success, uh, and in fact we're predicting it here at Unruly. Uh, we have 80% success in predicting virality uh, on our global algorithm, 90% success on local algorithms. And it's important to be able to predict and evaluate what actually drives sharing in advance so that brands can operationalise success and not just have a one-off win here or there and wonder why, but understand why their content has been successful and build on that for the next time round.